Hi, this is Adam Homey, co-founder of LiveWebsiteReviews.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you simple link cloaking, the down and dirty way to cloak an affiliate link by uploading a tiny file to your own website. How can you lose money if you don't cloak your affiliate links? First of all, it's a proven fact that if you display raw affiliate links on your website, blog, or social media pages, or in your e-zines and marketing emails, your audience is highly unlikely to click on them. Raw affiliate links, let's face it, they're ugly and they're hard on the eyes. And you can't read them out loud if you're on a teleseminar, webinar, or TV, or radio appearance. So you can read them, but people will not be able to follow that, so they won't type in their browsers, they won't go through your link to the website, and they won't buy so you don't make any money. Displaying a raw affiliate link in your promotional copy looks unprofessional, and it conveys the impression you did not take the time to build a customer-friendly promotion. Since everybody knows it only takes a minute to cloak a link, if you didn't take the time to do that, they're going to wonder what else you just sort of slapdash put together. Some readers might in fact suspect that that link is a Trojan horse, and therefore they won't click on it because they're afraid that they'll get viruses dumped on their computer. Your readers will be able to tell it's an affiliate link, and therefore they're not going to have much interest in buying from you today because they know that a piece of what they're paying is going to go directly into your pocket. That's really not something they're interested in, if you blatantly come out and say, I'm an affiliate and I'm going to make money if you click on this. In fact, some may go to your affiliate link to see where it leads, then they'll clean their cookies and they'll revisit the site that it landed on, and then they'll buy directly from that merchant so that they get what you were promoting, but you don't get the commission. Some savvy, if, let's face it, unscrupulous marketers will even go so far as to click your link to find out where it goes, and then they'll sign up as an affiliate themselves promote to your audience, and then make the commissions that should have been yours. Now, keep in mind that many of your followers may be their followers as well. And not only that, but you can say whether it's scrupulous or not, but the fact is it is out in the open and there's really nothing to stop them from doing it. But let me ask you this. Which link would you click? The one on top, which looks like a really long program link? Or that real short one, it looks really professional like it belongs on your website and something that somebody took a minute to put together and make look professional. Isn't there a better way to cloak affiliate links? Uh, there is, but creating HT access files, redirects, can be time consuming and it does require some advanced webmaster skills and as internet marketers we have neither the time nor the interest. Link cloaking softwares are out there and they may be good, but they're oftentimes more expensive than cloaking that link is really worth. You have to be realistic about where your ROI comes from in everything that you do. And while buying a domain to cloak your affiliate link is by far the cleanest and the most powerful way to cloak the link, it's only worth it to buy a domain for the handful of products you promote the most or stand to make the most affiliate income from. If you buy a domain for every single thing you promote, you're going to have some pretty high domain registration fees and it's really going to come to a question of is it worth it to spend all that money. You can also use a link shortener service, but when your audience sees SnipEarl or TinyEarl or IsGood, Bitly, or Trim, they know you're hiding something. Plus, this creates the impression you didn't really take the time to create a professional-looking promotion. Again, it takes as long to use a link shortener as it does to load a simple file to your own web server, and people are going to ask why you didn't go the extra mile. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cut into your conversions. So how does what I'm about to show you benefit you? First of all, it's easy to do. All you need to know how to do is create a folder on your computer, which you know how to do, edit a file using Notepad, and upload a tiny subfolder to your web server using a basic FTP program. And because your own website domain will be part of the cloak link, it'll look like your link on your website. This adds credibility to you as the expert promoting the solution because it looks like part of something that you do or something that you're very close to. The system requirements. The file manager on your own computer. If you've ever had to find a file on your computer, then you know how to use your file manager. I mean, you use it every day to find documents on your machine. Uh, you'll need a notepad or a similar type text editor to make the minor edits we're going to need to do. You'll need basic FTP upload software because you're going to upload a tiny folder to your web server for your website. And of course, you need the username and password for your own website. If you have a website, you have a username and password. Um, so if you don't have it, ask your webmaster and uh, get that so you can do this. The other thing I need you to do is go to your, our website right now and download the cloak file we're going to use. Um, just go to www.livewebsitereviews.
livewebsitereviews.com forward slash cloak file. That's livewebsitereviews.com forward slash cloak file. In fact, hit pause, go download it now, and after you have it, come back and hit continue and we'll, we'll finish this lesson. Ready to get started? On your desktop, have the following open. Have a blank plain text editor like Notepad open, and then take the affiliate link you're going to cloak and paste it in there. Then, use the cloak file that you just downloaded from livewebsitereviews.com forward slash cloak file. You'll need your file manager open, and you'll need your FTP software open, and navigate and log into your website and navigate to the root directory of where your main website files are, because that's where you're going to upload the folder. And now, let's get started. Uh, watch the rest of this video, and I'll show you how to do it. On the screen in front of you now, you should see two things within my notepad. The one on top is my affiliate link for private mastermind meeting secrets, which is the video mastermind session that Eric Gruber and I recorded that explains how to build an online business and to create products and solutions and get them online and available for sale fast. The thing underneath is the Google Analytics code that we use for livewebsitereviews.com. So the first step is let's open the cloak file that you just downloaded. And within that zip file that you downloaded, there was a file called index.shtml. And here it is. So all we're going to do is take the affiliate link and copy paste it into the cloak file where it says insert your affiliate link here. That long word, insert your affiliate link here. Highlight over that, but leave that quotation mark to the right. Leave that there and paste in the affiliate link. So um, the equal sign after URL needs to be there and the quote mark after the end of the affiliate link need to be there. Then Take the analytics code if you're using Google Analytics or using some other tracking software and you want to see how many people click on this link through your tracking software, take that and copy paste it right where it says analytics or other tracking software and put it there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this to the folder that we're going to upload to the FTP of our website. And so I'm going to do file, save as, and I'm going to create a subfolder and I'm going to call it video course. V-I-D-E-O-C-O-U-R-S-E. -E. Within that, I'm going to put in a file called index.shtml. I'm going to be very careful and save it as index.shtml. And then hit save. Now, I'm going to go to my FTP editor, and I'm logged in to the live website review site. I kind of had to hide what some of the folder names were just for security purposes. So, I mean, uh, yeah, that is the um, logged in site over there. So what I'm going to do is refresh, and here was the index.shtml that I downloaded, but here's the one that I put inside the video course folder. In fact, I'm going to open it up right now and show you. So I open up video course, and by right-clicking and doing open with notepad, open with notepad, come on, you'll see there it is. There's the affiliate link we just pasted in, and then there's the Google Analytics code that we just pasted in. So I'm going to go back one step. I'm going to take the folder called Video Course, and I'm going to upload that to the Live Website Reviews web server right now. It's going, going, gone. And you can see that was only 600 bytes. It's a very small file, and we're already at 100%. So now, I'm going to go to a web browser. I'm going to type http colon forward slash forward slash www.livewebsitereviews.com forward slash video course and watch what happens if that was in my promotional email it uh, would have just simply said livewebsitereviews.com forward slash video course and without anybody seeing anything that made it obvious that that was an affiliate link it took us right to the private mastermind meeting secrets website now if you need our help with anything having to do with conversions on your website, if you want us to take a look at your site and look for ways that you can be converting better, if you want us to look at how your site can be designed, if you're looking for any other types of strategic guidance as well, the first step is to invest in a live website review. So please go to www.livewebsitereviews.com today and learn how you can get started.